My name is Manny Cordova and I own Furios Territory in North Texas. We are entering our second year as a franchisee. For the past 12 years, I've been a head soccer coach and Spanish teacher in public education. So the, the first year we purchased it, I was still on staff at our local high school. Uh, and but we've always, I've always wanted to own a business and operate one. So we, it took a year to transition. Uh, and now we're here uh, running and operating it into the second season. And hopefully long-term we'd like to have a manager that can grow that thing for us. Uh, and for us, we were fortunate kind of with our background and we knew how schools operated with, uh, with other companies and how we could help them out. Uh, I was part of the teacher appreciation where we saw people come in and be a part of that. We saw summer camps, we saw uh, sponsorships. And so as we took on the job, that's something that we searched for, of how we could use Frios to help involve, be involved in the community, be involved in the schools. You know, you get to be your own boss, which sounds exciting, uh, but you know, we, I've, I've done that for a while as a coach. We have our own hours, we have irregular hours, but I enjoy being able to set my schedule, my agenda as far as where I want to go, who I want to reach out to, uh, brainstorm new ideas. So if something doesn't work, going back to the drawing board and, and learning and, and appreciating that process. Uh, being able to spend time with my kids. So my kids come and they work with us. They sweep the van, they wipe down the, the freezers, they hand out popsicles. My two-year-old will take pain. They grab the credit card, dad, the square reader, hand the credit card back, no joke. Uh, and so just being able to still work, spend time with my family uh, and make some money. I mean, it's a hard combo to beat. So those are a couple of things that I really enjoy about it. So we've been married, uh, we'll be 11 years in, uh, in August. Uh, we have three kids, one's eight, one's six, and then one's two and a half. The only one that gets to run with us, he gets us in the front seat with that van. Uh, today we dropped off some flowers at his pool for field day. Uh, he gets to come off and I mean, he's, probably, he's he's our closer. Without him, we wouldn't get as many sales as we do, but everybody loves him and uh, it's been awesome having our family around. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur and I kind of had set my age about 34, 35 was kind of my limit and we reached that goal with Frios. Uh, so we, we wanted to own it, we wanted to learn, and I've always been interested in the business side of it. And then two, I, like, I wanted to teach my kids work ethic. And I think when you, we can control that, and yeah, you're coming to work, and you're gonna go to soccer game once that's over, you come to Frio's, hanging out popsicles, talking to people. Uh, customer service is a big part of that too, and giving back. I think my kids being around and being able to help people out, uh, you know, they'll try to put the drip catchers underneath the popsicles and try just being around people is a big part of that. Uh, and then ultimately, yeah, legacy. Like I think uh, as a coach, <clears throat> we always ask our kids to work hard and you know take risk and give a lot of effort, but it's hard to do that when you don't do it yourself. And so like I wanted to take, tell them like, hey, you gotta take risks, you gotta get after it, you gotta be a go-getter. But if I don't do that, then I don't need a legacy. So my hope is that we grow it, we build it. Um, there's a legacy my kids can continue to like, uh, but that they also learn all those the work ethic, the commitment, the dedication, all those really important skills that they need to grow. So it's uh, it's not just money, it's personal legacy, family legacy, and it's still a really good value in our kids.